So let us say you want to stop your users from uh, transitioning an issue until all the linked issues of a specific type to that particular of course issue are in a specific state. Now this is basically possible with the help of uh, a condition in the workflow. In Jira you can uh, of course configure workflows for different types of issues and uh, conditions basically stop the users from uh, doing a transition unless that particular condition or set of conditions are true. Now this question is asked by mk underscore 27 and uh, the question is start transition condition by another issue status. Now he's of course talking about uh, two issues, let us say issue one and issue two, he or she, I'm not sure. And uh, he basically wants to stop users from transitioning issue one until all the linked issues or maybe a specific linked issue of a specific type is in a specific status, for example. Now, this can be done uh, by adding a custom scripted condition. So, if you go to your workflow transition and when you go to the condition tab, you are presented with uh, different uh, conditions that you can add. Now, with the help of, and by the way, in Jira out of the box, there are some conditions that you can use even without using any app or add-on. But of course, uh, with the help of some apps, you have a lot of other conditions. One such app is called Script Enough for Jira. And uh, when you take a look at the script condition, you will find uh, an option to add a condition with some code that you can write. Now, if you look at this particular page, which is the official documentation of Scriptano. You do have one example that talks about uh, all depending issues should be resolved. So basically based on a specific uh, issue link type, you can check the status of those linked issues and then you can either allow or of course not allow the transition to happen. So this is something that you can easily do with the help of uh, script enough for Jira. And uh, the good thing about uh, writing a script is that you can also do a lot more. So when you are writing a script, you can add your own business logic. It can be as simple as checking the status, but you can check for, in fact, a lot of other things. Maybe you want uh, your linked issues to have a specific status along with maybe some other check that you want to do. So you have a script where you can add this logic. So th this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.